Hi, and welcome to Digimerge TV. Today's video demonstrates the ISMS Mac software, which is compatible with Digimerge Touch Series DVRs and enables remote viewing and management of the DVR on Mac systems. Unlike other Mac apps available in the market, which only serve as viewers, the ISMS client allows you complete control, including operation of DVR menus, playback, search, and backup. We'll walk you through how to download, set up, and use the user-friendly yet powerful Mac software. Before obtaining the Mac app, please note the following prerequisites that are necessary in order for it to work. Firstly, your Mac system must be OS X 10.6 or greater using an Intel processor. Port 80, or whichever port your system is using, must be port forwarded on your router. If you have a dynamic IP address, you must create a free and secure Digimerge DDNS account and have the DDNS settings configured in your DVR. Lastly, the DVR must have internet access. The procedure for obtaining the Mac software is different if you have a DH100 series DVR. For DH100 models, you need to download the app directly from the DVR rather than the Digimerge website. Please refer to the DH100 series manual for more details. In order to download the ISMS client for DH200+, DH230, or DH250 series DVRs, go to www.digimerge.com. Under Products, go to DVR Apps, select the ISMS Mac, Click on the Downloads tab and proceed to download the software. You can also find the software in the Downloads tab of your respective DVR product on digimerge.com. Once you've completed the download, open the zip file to extract the software and launch the installation. The host port field is either the static IP address of the DVR, followed by a colon, followed by the DVR's port number, or enter the Digimerge DDNS account address of the DVR, followed by a colon, followed by the DVR's port number. The username of the DVR, which by default is admin. The DVR's password, which by default is 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. The video mode for North America is NTSC. Now click Connect to log into the DVR. The ISMS interface is easy to navigate and use, displaying the connected channels of your DVR in the main viewing window. You can double click on each channel to view in full screen mode, and double click again to return to multi-screen viewing. A variety of viewing modes are available by clicking on the icons in the center of the toolbar. Clicking PTZ opens the Pan Tilt Zoom menu. If you have a PTZ camera connected, go to that camera in full screen mode and use the PTZ controls to pan and zoom. For more information on PTZ, please refer to the manual. Click the PTZ icon again to remove the Pan Tilt Zoom menu. Clicking the Screen Capture icon takes a snapshot image of the viewing window and saves it to the specified directory on your hard drive. Enter an image name into the blank field, and then click Save or Print. To record live video, click the Record button. The Record button turns red while recording is taking place. Video files are saved in a folder in your specified directory. Click the Record button again to stop recording. If you'd like to change some of the on-screen display settings, you can do so by clicking on the ISMS menu at the top of the toolbar and selecting Preferences. To view recorded video from your Mac, go to the DVR menu at the top of the toolbar and select File Play. Locate the video on your hard drive. Note that video files from ISMS terminate in the extension CMS. Playback commences once a file is selected. The playback window offers controls to manipulate video speed including rewind, fast forward, and frame by frame. You can drag the video slider to skip through video. To return to live viewing, click Live in the DVR menu. You can also search for video recordings from both your DVR remotely or locally on your Mac hard drive. From the DVR drop-down menu, you can select either Remote Search or Local Search. For this demo, we'll do a Remote Search. From the Remote Search menu, select the month and year, 
then the date from the calendar, then the hour of the day. You can also select the channels you wish to search under. Click the playback button to begin viewing, or click the download button to save the video to your hard drive. Finally, ISMS allows you to change the menu settings of the DVR remotely. From the DVR drop-down menu, select Setup. You will find a complete replication of the Touch Series DVR menu. Configuring these menus works identically on ISMS as it does locally at the DVR. The ISMS client software makes being at your Mac virtually as effective as being at the DVR itself, providing Mac users with complete functionality. For more information and resources, visit www.digimerge.com.